Good morning, men. My name is Matthew Kilala, and um, I'd like to testify about the goodness of God to me before seminary and during my time here. I was born and raised in Southern California, primarily uh, from the time I was a toddler and all the way to 13 years old in the city of Long Beach, and after that, in the city of Cerritos. Um, I was born in a believing household. My mother um, and my grandmother introduced me to the gospel. Um, my father is very instrumental to me in, in, uh, in bringing an awareness of the reality of God in my life. Um, though he wasn't a professional songwriter, uh, he wrote many songs, over a hundred, all, if not, most if not all, based uh, on the truth of God's word. And as he would sing me his songs, and as he would have me think through the theological concepts within them, um, I would be confronted with the reality of God, uh, thinking about subjects such as the Trinity, or thinking about um, how creation testifies of, of God. And uh, that instilled in me the reality of God for my life. And uh, even, though, um, even though I had that wonderful upbringing, from the time I was 13 to the, to the time I was 18, uh, I was living according to the pattern of this world. Um, a full-blown sinner, if I could put it that way. And uh, it was 18 when I finally heard um, a preacher preach on John 3.16, a, a verse I've heard many, many times, even memorized as a child. Um, as he preached on the immensity of God's love and me uh, thinking about my, my sin, uh, I knew right then and there that I didn't need to be convinced of being a sinner, that I needed to, be, I needed to repent and, and ask God to forgive me and to believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And that's exactly what I did. It was just not, soon to, to, uh, not too soon after that that I, uh, I got baptized. Two years after that, um, after hearing that uh, a couple of the guys at the church were going to the Los Angeles Bible Training School, um, I decided to, to attend there as well. I finished uh, my associate's degree and my schedule had freed up. And so I was, I remember, actually remember my first time being there. And um, I remember thinking going in, uh, what else don't I know? I grew up in the church. I've been to Sunday school. Um, I wonder what, what I have left to, to learn, if, if there's anything else that, that would be new to me. And uh, after my first semester there, I'll tell you what. Everything that I've learned my whole 18 years, or, or, or however long I've been in the church, was actually very, very, very little. The men there, as uh, one of the students have already uh, mentioned earlier, many of them were TMS alumni, and, and I noticed how, the, as they taught the Word of God, that it was very uh, precise. It was very clear. It was preaching with conviction, and I knew that they were men who mastered their Bibles, and not just that, men who were mastered by the Word of God. And uh, I knew if that there was any place that I'd be going to get a, a, a deeper theological training, it would be here at the Master's Seminary. And so that's exactly what I did. After uh, graduating there, uh, after four years, and um, being installed as the youth pastor at my church, um, I decided to give the school a call. And um, I, I, uh, I called up the the the, the, the um, the director of administration, uh, administration and admission, excuse me, and that was uh, Mr. Ray Merringer. And I remember uh, seeing him and uh, getting a couple classes to sit in and, and being scheduled to meet at, with him after. And uh, I remember uh, it, it could be summarized this way. He said, Matt, um, you're still young, and um, it's probably best that you finish your undergrad before coming here. And uh, I hit a wall. I thought I'd be able to come in just right after uh, my schooling at the Los Angeles Bible Training School, and I felt devastated. And I decided to talk to Dr. Felix and see what he had to say about my situation. And uh, it was just one sentence that did it all. And he said, well, don't give up on the dream. And I did, so, and I didn't. So I, I went and I enrolled to a school that he recommended so that I'd get here as soon as possible. And uh, after two years of climbing up that mountain, I applied for the master's seminary, and that's how I got here. During my time here, I'd have to say it, it was definitely a joy, um, but I also have to say that um, part of it felt like a marathon, like running um, and not being prepared for it. 
Uh, I remember during a time in my, uh, my during especially during my first year, um, uh, there came a point where I, I began thinking to myself, you know, I, I don't think I can do this. I, I don't think I'm fit for this. I don't think that I, I'm capable uh, to be able to finish um, even this semester. And I remember comparing myself to, to the brothers here and, and comparing how smart they were and how come I couldn't be like that. And at that moment, I knew that God was teaching me a lesson. And it was a lesson on, on, uh, on, 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 on focusing too much on myself and being self-sufficient instead of being relying on God. And it was a lesson that I have to learn over and over and over again while I was here. And... Um, I'm just so thankful for God that as I used to get that uh, syllabus shock and you know, just be ter terrified with, you know, putting up that list of homework assignments and being overwhelmed and even feeling defeated at times and feeling like I, I couldn't do it. Uh, it's at that time when I did, de decided to depend on God and it would be one assignment at a time, one class at a time, one semester at a time until I got to, to this, this uh, time in, in, in my seminary career. And, I'd have to say that it was those times after those semesters that I would think and thank God for having put me or uh, uh, seen me through. Definitely always encouragement. Um, I have found here at the seminary, it, sometimes it was perfect, sometimes it was exactly the thing I needed to hear, but I would say it's always timely. Um, I heard uh, encouragement while I was in the classes. I heard encouragement while I was with the brothers here that I got close to, encouragement from my family, but um, the encouragement was always perfect. There was even one time where um, it was a small encouragement as I turned in my paper, you know, three o'clock in the morning, and this was, uh, you know, I had that repetition or that, you know, that uh, it was a, it would common for me for, to turn in my papers late. That's just how I did things. Um, <laughs> late at night, but on time. <laughs> um, that as, as soon as I pressed uh, send, um, this professor, professors would reply back almost immediately, three o'clock in the morning, and saying, thank you, now get that rest, we'll see you tomorrow morning. And just to see how, that is as if they were running alongside of us, uh, encouraging us, that they were, uh, uh, you know, handling both ministry and, and seminary life as well. And it was just all these kinds of encouraging me, uh, encouragements that, that helped me through. And so, as far as future plans, um, I'd have to say um, I, I'm still going to plan to continue serving the youth at my church um, as their youth pastor. And if the Lord wills, um, probably do hospital chaplaincy or, or more specifically hospice. And so, pray for me in terms of that. And as far as this school is concerned, would I do it again? Um, it would be yes, yes, uh, you know, a thousand times yes. I've learned so much at this school that, that uh, you know, that, that it changed my character and it, it's something that money can't buy. And so, God bless you men and thank God for the Master's Seminary.